Okay guys, so this is your incline dumbbell press. Um, again, man, always refer back to your barbell bench press as far as setting up straight armed out, drop your scapula way back, pinch it, and that's when you start your movement. Um, whenever you start your movement and you're, you're going forward, that rolling forward is really gonna damage your shoulder. And as always, guys, it's not if, it's when. You will hurt yourself. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate your incline dumbbell press. And so you're gonna grab your dumbbells, come on back, and I always recommend, guys, if you're lifting a little bit heavier weights, use your knees, rock one back, rock the other back. So what I'm gonna have you do is pop it up. Watch what happens. Now I drop my scapula way back, my shoulders come, uh, come way back, my chest is popped forward, and we're benching down. So again, guys, see how I stop right before my elbows are at full extension? When I go past that, all I'm doing is putting a lot of pressure on my shoulder and my bicep tendon. So this is the movement that you're looking for right here. Nice, fluid slow, controlled range of motion. And again, guys, as always, once you get done with your full reps, it's okay to go ahead and crank out some partials. Um, partials, I've found as I've gotten older, just really overexert that muscle and really kind of finish it off. Um, do as many full range as you can, then do some partials and you're really gonna see some development in your chest. So as always, thank you. Uh, come and ask any of my staff or myself at any point, your success is uh, vital to us. Thanks.